Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jay Harkin here. Cole's behind the camera. Hey guys. And we just got back from the post office. We went to the post office because several people have been asking us if we had a P.O. box. So we went and got one set up. So if you have something that you would like to send us, look down in the description below and you will find our P.O. box address. So, that, so that's really exciting and really nice that people want to send us stuff. Uh, now we got to get the adventure started. Now we're going to go down the road behind our granny's house and we are going to go look for water moccasins. Yeah. That's super exciting because I'm going to catch a water moccasin. No, you're not, chicken. <laughs> Cole doesn't let me catch venomous snakes. He thinks I'm not ready. <laughs> you get bit all the time. But I would be more careful with a venomous snake. Okay, once you show you can be more careful with the down and back water snake, we might let you start catching water moccasins. Okay. Comment below if you think I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, let's go get this adventure started. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Folks at home, we've made it. Check out this view, everybody. Just to soak it in. Feel the mosquito bites. Breathe. I hear the toads going off. Little narrow mouth toads. Bring out your inner water moccasin. <laughs> Can you sniff out a water moccasin? Probably ain't got to. I can't sniff them. You probably ain't got to. There's so many of them out here. Well, we made our way into the Lake Conway Cypress Tree and Water Tupelo Swamp. Uh, it's really marshy back here in this particular area. And uh, what we're doing, basically, we're just walking around, uh, trying to look around every sort of, every knee and every high mud bank and every stick pile, looking for the elusive water moccasin. We're just checking out every little crack and crevice. Um, right here is a big cypress tree, and you can see how the base of the tree buttresses off and makes these little cavities and it's a really good spot for a water moccasin to uh, coil up and sit in ambush prey and uh, remain hidden from predators. So we go around every tree and check in every single crevice hoping that we find one. I don't know if you can see it, there's lots of minnows um, swirling around. We got frogs jumping. There's just all sorts of food for these water moccasins to eat. And I know they're here, so we're just gonna keep on walking. Hopefully find one. If y'all see one, just holler through the camera lens or through the computer screen, whatever you gotta do to let us know. We're just going to walk around this little area and hopefully kick one up and hopefully avoid a thunderstorm. You hear it rumbling in the distance. When you're looking for water moccasins, you have to be on high alert all the time. Because there could be a water moccasin anywhere and one wrong step and our adventure would be cut short. So you have to watch every single step you take. Spotted anything yet? Not yet. Found a turtle oh. shell. Oh. It's pretty cool. We're hanging up on the wall. That's cool. But it's too early to get up just yet. I mean, this is the snakiest environment that I've been in in a while. So I'm really hopeful that we're going to find a snake of some sort, but hopefully water moccasin because they're the king snake out here. And I know that at any moment we could easily turn a corner around a tree and find one. We're going to keep looking.
Look at here guys. Found a little bit of water moccasin candy. This is a little green frog and this is the prey that most of these snakes are after. This and little fish. That's the that's the primary food source out here for them. So hopefully this, this frog is gonna avoid getting eaten by a snake. We're gonna put him back underneath the tire where he came from. There you go, buddy. And good luck. And watch out for moccasins. We'll try to do the same. Let's keep going. This little spot right here looks kind of good. I guess we're just gonna make our way back around the bank on this side of the creek where we saw that one. Um, there's a couple logs. You got this big log right here, that log right there. And uh, it's kind of hard to believe we really haven't seen very many yet. Cause there's a really big one, it's bad anyway. And this is a really nice looking spot. Jay, there's one right there. Jay, what? Jay, Jay, Jay. Where? There's a snake right there. You see him? He's right there in the log. Oh, okay, right yeah, yeah, right there, yeah, yeah. Woo! Hey, speak of the devil and he shall appear, ain't that right? <laughs> Heck yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. I think, um, let me put my turtle, put my turtle shell down. We don't want him to get out in the water. I don't know if I should just uh, use these tongs and get him out in the open first. What do you think? What do you think I should do? Um, probably get him out in the open. Use the tongs? Yeah. All right, guys. I don't, I don't want you to think I'm a sissy, but I'm going to use the tongs. Pretty good looking snake. We were just saying, we, we walked a good ways back here and uh, hadn't really seen much. But anyways, let me get between him and the water. This water's kind of deep. Got him. Easy peasy. Wow. Woo, look at him. <laughs> These tongs had some weird ridges on them whenever we first bought them that uh, I didn't like, so we have it wrapped in tape to make sure that this snake is properly cared for when he's grasped between the tongs. I'm not so sure, I don't believe there's not one by this log, so let me get a check real quick. Oh, wow, this one here is a beautiful one. And there he is, the king of the swamp in the serpent world. This is our notorious water moccasin, aka the cottonmouth, Achesodon piscivorus leucostoma. This is the western subspecies of the water moccasin, cottonmouth, however you want to call it. And uh, he was chilling just right where he was supposed to be. We saw him. Uh, next to that creek, hanging between those root wads, just laying stealthily, un I mean unseen, I mean his camouflage is unmatched compared to some of the other snakes out here. <laughs> you have to keep a little bit of pressure on them, <laughs> make sure they don't turn back around on you. But you can see he's a really broad snake compared to some of the other water snake species. These guys are really girthy compared to their size. They're like really short and squatty snakes. And on his head, Jake, can you get a good look at his head? You can see it's so broad. Our other water snake species that are not venomous do not have that broad head because they are not pit vipers. Water moccasins are pit vipers. And like all pit vipers, the moccasin is outfitted with a heat sensing pit. Take a look between the nostril and the eye. You see that opening, that small hole? That is the water moccasin's pit. And that pit allows them to sense that heat from that warm blooded animal and strike out and inject venom into it. If you find yourself near water's edge and you're looking at a snake and you're unsure if it is venomous or not, you can always be certain if you see that pit in between the nostril and the eye, that snake is venomous. You need to admire it from a safe distance. Do not try to pick the snake up because it's hot and it will bite you. Okay, today's the day we are letting Jessica pick up her first water moccasin with the snake hook or with the snake tongs and she's done a good job she's got him you there what a pro <laughs> sorry mom 
Can you see him? Yeah, I can see him. That's a good job, Jay. Look at me holding him. <laughs> you got him just right. That's exactly the way you need to hold him. This kid's always wanted to catch a water moccasin. Like when we're out in the ditches um, catching water snakes and we see a water moccasin, um, we don't always catch water moccasins. We usually just, we'll just pass them by because we're not, we're not trying to uh, stress them out or get bit or anything crazy like that. But the times whenever I do catch one or move one out of the way, just was like, how come I can't do that? I'm like, well, you always get bit. You're never 100% safe whenever you're handling water moccasins, but this is the safest way that you can absolutely handle a water moccasin without picking one up. <laughs> they look awesome. I'm proud of you, Jay. Thank you. I think what we should do now, Jay, I think that we should just go on ahead and walk him back over to where he was at and go let him go. What do you say about that? Yeah, yeah. You gonna do that? Yeah. We'll let you do the release. All right, here she comes. She's got the snake. And we're gonna right where we found him. send him right back where we found that little nook right there. Set him down real easy. And you just let go of the trigger. And we'll let him go where he wants to go, but that's where he was at. We'll see you later, bud. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Day made. What an adventure. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> Man, it's beautiful out here. I couldn't think of a better place to spend my afternoon out here with you. Catching water moccasins. You're so sweet. It was awesome watching you grab that one. Yeah, aren't y'all proud of me? Comment below if you're proud of me. And I would like to apologize to my mom and granny. I know you guys don't like me doing stuff like that, but hey, I'm learning from the best, so you don't have to worry. I just can't get over how pretty it is out here today. Mm -hmm. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so we can give you the notification bell every time we post a video. And if you enjoy this video, also drop a comment. Let us know what you want to see. We're growing so fast every day. And it's just incredible. We couldn't do it without you guys. We're going to start making our way out. The sun's kind of coming out. It's starting to get really humid. We had a couple of storms roll through. And uh, let the water moccasins take a break from us. We'll see you on the next video, guys. We love you. And we'll see you on the next video. to watch every single step you take. Are you watching your steps? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>